This is a super quick video on how to turn this into this. Are you ready? Let's go! This face has a chip and it needs a whole total update. So we're going to fix that with a product called Texture Medium from Artistic Painting Studio. Now I'll show you what that is. Texture Medium is an amazing product that you can use for many different things in many different ways. But for here, we're going to use it to give this, this face a texture, give it some texture, and also to kind of fill in that missing piece, that little chip here. This will dry. We're going to set this on here and we're going to let it set overnight. Usually I would use a trowel, a little mini trowel when using this on this particular product on furniture, the texture medium. But because it is a vase, I'm just going to just slap it on with my hand. I want it to have a textured um, look that doesn't necessarily go in any direction. So if you don't mind getting your hands dirty, I definitely don't. Okay, so I forgot to film while I was painting this blue, but as you can see, the textured medium has dried. And it really does have texture and the blue just looks so good on here. But we're going to add some more color. We're not just keeping it blue. So the next thing I did, I just added a little bit of orange. I love to blend colors and originally I was going to paint flowers on this, but um, I'm really loving the texture so much that I'm just going to blend the colors on here. So now that those colors have dried, the blue and the orange, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and um, I just, I can't say it enough. I love the texture on this and this is something um, from Artistic Painting Studios, this product that you can also use um, pattern rollers with and I've done that on furniture as well and it's just super pretty. It, it looks a little bit different than the vase of course, but you know, that's uh, an idea for the next video. But for now, we're just going to play with this a little bit. So the deal is you always seal when you're using chalk paint. And it's no different with the vase. I'm going to be using some white uh, wax. I'm putting it on with a brush and then I'm just going to wipe it off just to kind of <clears throat> smooth it out. Um, it's going to get in there in those crevices of the texture and it's going to give this kind of like, um, I don't know, I want to call it a dreamy look. So we're just going to play around with some waxes and maybe a little bit of mica powder. <laughs> Now for the win, we're going to add some of this copper bronzy mica that I have. And all that I did was actually just put it on the brush that I had the wax on and it kind of adheres to the, the brush and then I just smoothed it out here and there on the vase to kind of give it like a 
old world look. I wanted it to not look like a brand new vase with the texture, but uh, I did want it to have that little bit of little bit of shine.